What's up guys? This is Helge from tkdtrainer.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make pool noodles out of some uh, taekwondo mat rims. So all you guys know these rims, right? This is uh, at the edge of the mats when you buy your taekwondo mats or your, or your tatamis for uh, or your gym. Uh, these are usually on the edges, right? And what most, most guys do is they take these and they throw them out because they, uh, they don't have space to have them on all the mats. Because uh, well, you, you usually use them as rims, maybe on the, uh, on the edges, like against the wall, so it doesn't become dirty. But uh, these are actually quite a fantastic uh, training tool that you can use. So what we're going to do here is uh, you're going to have to have uh, uh, like the both types you can see right here. There's one type that has a, a quite a thin end and the other one is a thicker and these one will fit together perfectly, like uh, pieces of a puzzle. So you'll have to have uh, both types. Uh, you'll have to have some tape. Uh, I recommend using sports tape or duct tape, but uh, in this tutorial I'm just gonna use electrical tape. Uh, and a box cutter or a pair of scissors, and they need to be quite sharp. So what we will do is, uh, you will find uh, uh, both edges of the mat rim, and then you can piece them together like this. It's quite simple actually. And then you would, uh, you would tape them at the ends, both sides, and then like preferably uh, at least one or two somewhere in the middle to keep it together. Because when we're doing different drills, they might uh, start falling apart like this if you don't tape them. So I, I highly recommend putting, uh, putting some tape on it, like we've done with this one. Some tape on the ends over here, and this is actually quite nice. It, it doesn't fall apart, and uh, if it starts falling apart, just add some tape uh, somewhere in, in, uh, in the area where there's no tape already has been set, right here. Um, so what we can also do is, the reason why I'm ha I have this box cut right here is uh, we can also cut it down, because uh, for some drills, this is uh, it's too big, it's too long, because uh, at the end it will be, it's, 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 it's quite soft, so it will hang down like this. For some drills it's good, and for others it's not. So, but if you have a, a fully equipped uh, dojang with, with mats, you've got, you've got so many of these, so you should, you should have some of the long version and some of the short one. So what I would I like to do uh, is I would like to tape the ends, start by taping the end of of the mat rim, or the noodle. I first saw this. Uh, I first saw this even used by uh, Olympian and Finnish athlete Suvi Mekonen, and uh, she was using these for uh, a lot of blocking drills. And uh, I, I thought to myself, she was using. She wasn't using the mat rim. She was using regular pool pool noodles. And I thought, like, this is a fantastic way to train some some blocking drills and. Uh, uh, and uh, I thought to myself, like, well, well, I have to go to a sporting, sporting goods stores to buy them. But then I figured out, like, we have these rims, like, by the hundreds at my gym. Like, we got so many pairs of these. So what, what I did is start taping them up and started trying to use them and figured out quite a few fantastic drills to use. So I t I'll tape it up also in the middle. <clears throat> or actually, I will, it's going to be like 60, 60, 40 percent. So I'll have like 60% of the mat uh, of the mat rim or the noodle on this side. I'll tape it down over here. I'm just doing putting a, one line of tape, but you're gonna have to use some more. And then I'm gonna cut right next to the to the tape. So be careful with your fingers. And uh, obviously you can use a pair of scissors as well. So I'll cut through this right here. And now I have a, a shorter null. So as you can see, like this, is, uh, this could be used in a lot of blocking drills. This could be used, uh, the long ones for games for kids, I'll call this, sometimes I'll call this a sword. And we'll play some games like uh, the night game or the sword fighter and, and uh, check out the drill collection for those games. Uh, and then this one could be a knife or this one you can use for a lot of uh, simple blocking drills where you're more uh, closer to, you, to your training partner. 
uh, and I would add some tape to the middle as well to this one. I can do the same with this, but like they're going to be separate, uh, different lengths. So different type of drills, you'll have different type of noodles. So you you, can, you should experiment. You should have uh, try to have at least two or maybe three different lengths of noodles at your club. So please don't throw the mat rims out because uh, you you could find them quite useful for uh, various drills. So there we go. Again, this is Helki from tkdtrainer.com. Please visit our page, Facebook, and Twitter for more free programs, news, and tutorials.